Hi. Okay, so this week I have decided to do something a little bit different to what I usually film, which is how I got into LCF foundation, CSM foundation as well, and ultimately how I got into fashion business at LCF. I've wanted to do this for a little bit and for a number of reasons, one of which I thought that it would have been beneficial for me if someone had showed me exactly what was in their portfolio when they were trying to get into LCF and CSM and um, things like that. And just the application process. I'm not sure if I can touch too much on the application process because I'm not really sure how it's changed since I applied, which was, it was a while ago. So I'll leave some links um, down below for the up-to-date information on um, how to apply and um, the materials that you need to include in the portfolio if it has changed. But for now, I will just show you what I had in my portfolio. So I don't have everything um, that I handed in when I first applied for my foundation course, unfortunately. Some of the sketchbooks are back at home. I also produced some things that can't be preserved, basically. I'll go through everything. Okay, so number one. Originally, I applied for the CSM um, art and design foundation. This was my biggest portfolio. This was the design and technology major project that I did for my HSC, which is the Australian equivalent of SATs and whatever the British system is, the A-levels, things like that. So I took design as an elective and decided to include my portfolio there. I had basically um, identification of the need it was all research area of investigation so this is all a requirement for the HSC this isn't a requirement for the foundation um, and so I had like a finance plan I had um, this was the project management section so this was how I was going to undertake the project and the time in the timeline that I had I was doing a project on innovative fabrics so um, researching how to innovate um, innovate fabric technology and things like that so this is all my research on this is growing um, fabric out of wine this was digital printing 3d printing laser cutting bio grown fabrics things like that this is all kind of common knowledge now but when i applied which was like five years ago yeah five years ago now um this was not too common to do so i thought that it would help a lot this was some of the idea idea generation that i had on oh, this drawing is so bad trends trend reports more ideas this was fabric research so cotton denim things like that so our school had a laser engraving laser cutting machine so i um designed these laser files from i think it was in photoshop yeah photoshop so these kinds of laser files these kinds of laser files and this was all the actual testing that i did so this like all ripped apart so that was a no-go um like i had to amend the patterns and everything more research on like laser cutting um this is how i amended the pattern from something like that before like this is all the files made a paper paper model of what i wanted to do this was like the final final design i'm not going to show it because it's so bad and then this is a record um, photographic and um, written record of every step that I took to make it. So all the cutting and the engraving, the drape. So this is all the draping and the pinning that I did as well. So basically, 
in the end, what my project was, I bought a crap ton of secondhand jeans and cut them up to make a skirt and cut the rest, like the legs and everything to make the, um, make a train. And all the train at the back was laser engraved. That's what it looked like in the end. It took so long <laughs> to do this. <laughs> and this is more of the steps, all the steps, like all the cutting, all the engraving. And then this is where I move on to the top. So the top was made of biodegradable material and the bust was a laser cut um, wooden corset that I made, which was also laser engraved. This is all just the fabric. I mean, this is the laser research, um, fabric research, material research, blah, 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 blah. I even tested the bio. So I wanted to do biogrown fabrics, but I tested that. This is all like, I tried to grow it out of vegetables. Yeah, it didn't work. It was way too delicate. Doing it at home was way too difficult. And so this is, this was like a showing of like a failed attempt to what I wanted to do. So I wanted to show that this is why I didn't use that method. And in the end, the bust looked like this. This is all wood, it was laser cut. And in the end, this was the final product. So you can see that this was all like laser engraved. This was the laser cut one with all the leather. This was the used jeans that are all, this was all pinned and so hand sewn. So I hand sewed all this. And I can tell you right now that there is blood on here because I stabbed myself so many times with the pins. And then this was all machine sewn. So because I couldn't bring the physical uh, product to the interview, because it was just way too delicate, I brought samples. So this was part of the bodice, the corset. And for the remainder of the portfolio, which I need to explain. So one of them was I made three dresses out of flower and nature and so i made three separate pieces one was made out of flowers one was made out of like sticks and leaves and i think the third one was both and they seem to really like that they complimented on my ability to experiment with texture i also had a bunch of paintings so every single painting that i did whether it be, I think I have a pic, I have a picture of one painting, which was one of like my smallest ones. I had, I had paintings of pots and fruit. I had a portrait series of my favorite designers as well. So I painted two or three and I pencil drew two or three. So I just chucked in everything and anything that I had ever drawn or painted. And they just want to see that you can draw. I know that in design, when you get into the course, um, in the foundation, you do a lot of sketchbook work. But for me personally, I didn't have any sketchbooks. They were all just paintings and drawings that were separate. And yeah, that was basically my portfolio. I don't know how, I don't know if it works like this for all countries, but for us, um, in Australia, we I went in and it was a interview and they told you if you got in straight away. So what you did is you went to the interview, you gave them all of your things, they go into a room, they look at your portfolio for 10 minutes, they call you in, ask you some questions, do the interview, and then they tell you straight away if you've gotten in or not and you accept the offer um, on the spot. So they gave me two offers. They said, you can go into CSM Art and Design um, if you want, but there is no guarantee of you getting into your bachelor's. Um, that is a separate application. So when you finish your foundation, you will apply again for your bachelor's. And if you're not good enough, then you can't get in. There's no guarantee of a spot for you in your bachelor's. That's what they said for CSM. Second offer, which is the LCF, International Preparation for Fashion, so IPF. And that one, you will have a guaranteed spot for bachelors. I'm so glad that I went into IPF and not 
and not CSM foundation because design, it is so not what I thought it was. Um, I would have cried myself to sleep, I think, if I decided to go into CSM foundation because I realized that that sort of design is not what I'm good at also not what I want to do. So I chose to go with LCF because in the end, my goal wasn't to do design, but it was to study in London and study at this university. So for me, a guaranteed entry was very um, appealing. I wasn't 100% sure that design was what I wanted to do. So it gave me a lot of escape routes and time for experimentation with LCF. So that's what I chose and I'm very happy with the decision. Anyways, that is how I got into the foundation in the first place. I'm not sure if this is gonna be any help, but I hope that it was interesting. Maybe it will give you some inspiration as to how you're gonna structure your portfolio. I think it is different. I remember my interview was extremely chill and laid back, but I have heard from other, other students that have done interviews in other countries that have a way more intense experience with interviews. I will, as mentioned before, leave the links of um, portfolio guidance and anything that any resources available if you're actually wanting to apply to this university and are stuck on what you can do. From what I remember, the portfolio guidelines are always really loose especially for this our university i know that when i applied for parsons and fit it was extremely structured you had to do a certain number of pieces designed for a certain season you had to interchange there was a lot of rules and um things very specific that they wanted for the portfolio from what i remember for this university it's not like that anything goes um there are guidelines but it's usually like show your work um that you can generate ideas that you can be creative it's very broad and vague which can be difficult more or less um, depending on your strengths but i think it's better because it gives you more room to be creative you can bring in as much work um, as you want even if it doesn't directly relate towards fashion it's fine i remember i think i handed in a video as well that i edited yeah just showing them you can do a lot of things you're willing to experiment you're willing to go kind of outside of your comfort zone and try different things if it fails you record it you acknowledge that it didn't go well but you go another way they really appreciate that i didn't plan anything for this video i just talked whatever came to mind However, I'm sure that there are things that I've missed and things that people maybe are curious about. Please let me know. Please comment any questions that you have about the application process. But yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed and I will see you soon with another video. Thank you. IPF to redesign the logo. My friends will kill me if I put this on the internet. These two actually really fun projects. And you will be just fine in the summertime. It is such a crime.